I don't just wanna be the best I wanna be God in the flesh On my way up so I gotta be next You watching your steps Gathering my followers, yes Listen up and maybe you can win the lottery next Now, everybody grab your fucking white tees and get in line I've been crowned the new God for the second time Get your M and I's tatted on your fucking head And heed everything I say before you The story in Kingdom of Amala is, actually to be honest, I don't even know half the name of the characters or places in this game. Why? Because I don't give a shit about any of the characters or places or twists or turns or who's what and who's doing who and what race are you and you look like the Avatar chick and all this other nonsense because the game doesn't even try to connect with you. Basically, for every gamer out there who's always made fun of Japanese RPGs, myself included, for going the I forgot my memory, but I must save the world storyline, we get an even more generic storyline here. You must go around helping everyone out like a little bitch boy and change the fate of everyone because you're the only one that can change the fate in the entire world. I can accept a generic storyline if it has like well-made characters. See Dragon Age Origins. However, what this game failed to do is even attempt to set up Characters that you'll like. Instead, we get introduced to characters who are borderline boring. If you need a way to get some extra sleep time, listen to the conversations in this game. I swear, after the first few words spoken from every person in this game, I just read the dialogue and skipped the voices. Soon after, I began to even skip the reading and just skip everything because it's so dull. I kid you not, this might be one of the most boring games I've ever played when it comes to a story. The lore seemed interesting, but the execution is horrible. Nothing in this game in terms of story is anything above average. Actually, I'd go as far as to say it's below average. It's pretty much shit. Generic story would just come on. Shitty writing. The graphics are really a mixed bag in this title. The good is that the art design is cool. It gives off a fable feel, but more of a comic book feel included. The armor and some of the monster designs look great. The weapons are all well detailed and fun to collect. And the places sometimes are wonderful to look at. On the flip side, the graphics are obviously not up to par with AAA titles. The dungeons look similar and mostly ugly. The actual models look outdated. The world can sometimes feel lifeless. And really, you have to take the good with the bad in this title. I, however, in all honesty, actually put the graphics in a positive light, just thanks to the kick-ass art design from the kick-ass Todd. Ah, here comes the game changer. No pun intended. Okay, this is where things start to finally get better. The combat works well in this game. It's smooth and easy to pull off combos. You have plenty of different weapons to try out and soon find yourself just trying different weapons just to see what works best with your gameplay style, which is really cool. From range to mid range to close up, you'll play with all different types of weapons. Also, as you level up, you'll be able to actually acquire new moves throughout which matter in which uh, class you do, and then you'll get different moves, just making your character even more separate from everybody else's gameplay style. The gameplay offers a ton of content. There's areas to explore, and they're a good size, and the game isn't small by any means. There's plenty of side quests, and I mean plenty. We'll get to the negatives in a second about that. Even the main quest will give you tons of hours of enjoyment. 
if you're having fun. You also have tons of equipment to find and collect and some really awesome looking weapons. So, of course, you want to collect those too. So, the collecting and content side of the game, there's plenty to do and a lot of it. Now, let's talk about the weak part of the gameplay because it's here. The camera goes wonky at times, and I find it hard to find my targets on screen. And it's funny, because sometimes the camera pans perfect, and you get a great shot of the field and where to strike next and where to dodge. Other times, the camera flips right up my girl's ass, and I can't see shit but a big fucking flaming sword and a big booty. And while that sounds great on date night, it's horrible when you got a big ass troll coming after you. I also found that while the combat is great, it's not the deepest ever. I guess this is my own fault for getting hyped for the game based on certain reviews out there stating the combat is the best ever. It's slightly above something like Tales or Star Ocean, but far from the likes of like God of War or Castlevania. Now I should note that they are very different genres, but when a certain reviewer states this is the best combat in an RPG ever, that's what the fuck I'm expecting when I pop in my game. That is not what I got. The combat is good, but really limited after a while. Even when you fully upgrade all your stuff, you can pull off some cool magic attacks with your weapons, but it still becomes relatively a simple button masher. And let's be honest, besides a few rolls and blocks, that's what the game is. And you can basically do that to any game, but it just feels even more so in this game because of how long it is. The side quest, now this is a complaint in itself. I fucking dislike the side quests with everything in me. They have to be the most borderline, shittiest side quests I actually ever played. And I get annoyed just picking them up. They feel like an MMO side quest. Usually games give you side quests and you do them while you're on the main mission. Or at least they give you a side quest and you have like a minor boss at the end. Or you get an actual story that's, you know enjoyable to listen to this game you feel like you're an errand boy doing all these horrible boring side quests for people that don't deserve you and then there are so many so many side quests and that may be a pro to some people but for me however there are so many i mostly skipped on half of them because i know how boring they really are and i don't want to do them i rather just kill the fucking people that are giving me the side quests Alright, I'm gonna be honest here. I really didn't get that much enjoyment with Kingdom. Which is a shame because I was very much hyped for it. I was ready to get my spawn armor looking like ass out there and slash some guys with some awesome looking weapons and armor. However, I found myself bored with this game far too quickly. With such a cliche and dull world on top of some of the most boring dungeons and repetitive side quests, I found myself questioning why the developers did it this way. Why not have a writer who makes interesting dialogue? Why not have side quests that are fun? Less side quests, but better ones. Sometimes quality over quantity is a good thing, my friends. Why not have more combos with weapons instead of just basically hitting one button to do all the combos with that one weapon? It's not to say this game is a bad game. I don't think it is. It's just not a great game. Hell, in my personal opinion, I don't even think it's a good game. I think it's decent. It's okay. It's worth when it's cheap or picking up as a rent. But this game really does nothing to make me go, wow, this game is worth buying right now. It just isn't. And sadly, that sucks. If you're worried about a game giving you content, don't. This game gives you plenty of content. I want to make this very clear. So if you care about quantity over quality, this game may be perfect for you. For anyone looking for a wonderful world filled with great dialogue and a good story, look elsewhere. I give Kingdom a 6.5 and hope that it improves big time in the next installment, which I hear is already underway. Real fast, I know plenty of you will argue here, which game is better, this, or Dark Souls, or Skyrim, or Final Fantasy, and so on. Honestly, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, however, I want to state we each have our own opinion and views on what is fun. So play, please, by all means, state which game you had fun with, and while you're doing that, try to state why you had fun with, say, like this game, without tackling other games like try not to mention why skyrim sucks and this game so much better or why final fantasy sucks and this game is so much better let me hear your views on why this game is so good state what you found about this game because when you enter another game when you go 
Well, that sounded wrong. But when you say Skyrim is much shittier than this game, then that automatically makes your point retarded because you're just, all you're doing is comparing. State why you enjoyed Kingdom. I want to hear why, honestly. I reviewed Kingdom for its own game. I wasn't comparing with others except for that little Dragon Age thing up there, but that made sense. And try to do the same now. Everyone have a good day. I'm sorry for fans of this game if I upset you, but honestly, as a reviewer, I'm going to give my honest opinion. Later, Whitey out.